think this is the life, ladies? Unlimited mimosas, minimal tan lines, and a horde of undersexed women just waiting to baste me up in cocoa butter. Who are you calling undersexed? Well, certainly not you, Dorian. You've got Charlie. But you know, it's a little poor form to flaunt your conquest in front of poor Kelly. What conquest? Poor Kelly? Kelly? I'm talking about that nun-like dry spell you've been going through. How long has it been since you've had a hard body under your fingertips? I tell you what, today's your lucky day. You crack your knuckles, we're gonna put you back in the saddle. I did what you wanted, I came to the palace. Where the hell are you? Kid and I had to take off. That ex-wife of yours was nosing around. She nearly caught us. <laughs> you better keep it down. We don't want the whole country club to come running. Oh, let him hear us. I want the whole oh. world to know how I feel about you. Mm. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Did you see how fast Bree ran to that team ball field? We might have a little slugger on our hands. <laughs> You know, I just hope that Mom and Charlie don't mind watching this in the day. Are you kidding? They'd already mapped out the batting order. <laughs> and the ice cream stand. We get a little alone time. I mean, don't get me wrong, Bree's my best girl. Oh, really? Then what does that make me? You are just the best. Well, don't worry about it. No money is gonna come between the two of us today. Lied. You never saw Todd push my mom. I'm sorry. I know that it you was. You just now figuring that out? Do you have no idea what that means? I'm sorry. Look, I almost beat Todd to death because of what you said. I could be facing jail time. I could lose star all because of what you said. Oh, the heck are you doing? Go with, just go with me. for things to get so out of control. What did you think was gonna happen when she told me that, that, that Todd tried to kill my mom? You think I was just gonna let it go? I, I, I don't know. Because you just weren't thinking. All you cared about was breaking up me and Star. Cole, no. You just wanted to drive us apart. It was Star's thing. Look, you have to understand. I should have listened to Star. She said that I shouldn't trust you. She said that. Oh my God. She said that you would do anything. What? You did it, didn't you? You pushed my mom down those stairs. I'd been here sooner, but traffic was a bitch. What the heck are you doing? Don't look now, but there's... No, I said don't look. There's a guy at the bar, and he's got a photo of us. Seen these two kids? He's asking questions about us, too. Wait. So your idea of keeping a low profile was kissing me? I am God's gift to great escape plans. It's the first thing I could think of. Okay, well, what do we do now? I don't know. Do you have any, do you have any ideas? Because I've got to get out of here before Paul's man catches on. Oh, jeez. What? 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 Okay. What? I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that's not Paul's guy. What's the bad news? He's my dad's. We had a deal. I come to the country club, you give me the kid, I give you the money. I changed the deal. Now we're meeting somewhere else, someplace quieter. No, I don't like it. Doesn't look like you've got much of a choice. Now get in your car and head north to Route 23A. Yeah, and what then? Take it going west. Get down the road far enough, you'll find a big red barn with a broken down silo. Come right now. 
It's going to take a while to find that place. Better not. I've got other business to conduct. You know what? You don't get to change the deal or make demands. I want to know the kid's okay. He's fine. Shaking like a leaf. Prove it. Hello? Is Nate okay? Nate? Hey. Glad to see romance is alive and well. To be honest, I didn't think you two would get back together. You know, all things considered. I'm surprised to see you out of the hospital. I figured you'd be laid up a while longer. I bounced back pretty quick with the right motivation. You know, things to do, you know, to see. Like you, actually. Why me? Well, I was just wondering if there's any word on Hannah O'Connor. She's the girl that uh, tried to kill me. Well, McBain's on her trail. He'll find her. All right. Good to know. Um, well, I'm going to make the most of the sunshine. Thanks for the update. You know, some guys will stop at nothing to get a girl to be with you. But you're not like that. Definitely not. And, uh, nice seeing you again. So how do you never leave? Uh, yeah, me too. Hey, so what was he talking about? How, how do you, uh, how do you two know each other? Here. What do you think you're doing? This is high-grade tanning oil. It serves many purposes, but for now, I'm just rubbing it into my skin. Excuse me? David, stop it! Now, I know you're frightened. You don't need to be scared, Kelly. You're in good hands. Now, as soon as you start to slick this all over me, oh. it'll all start to come back to you. Don't worry. <laughs> David, stop. Kelly, get your hand off I'm him. trying to. Security! What a lovely singing voice you must have. You can't kick me out of here, you know. Oh, and why can't I? Because I'm Vicky's guest. You folks need me around here. I'm much-needed eye candy in an otherwise sugar-free world. Kelly will back me up on that, won't you, Kelly? I'm going to go wash my hands or burn them. Oh, don't you wash that off. We still have my thighs and my, my calves to get to. <laughs> you keep this up, and so help me. You are going to be looking for companionship in chat rooms. What do I need the Internet for? I can always have you, baby. <laughs> In your dreams, I will never again fall prey to a man of your ilk. I resent that. I have no ilk. Ilk schmilk. That Robert Ford? Why, he's a carbon copy of you. Ford? My carbon copy? Come on. Ford's a pretender, a wannabe, a never will be. Somebody say my name. 